We start on today's video off by going and taking the Mark 8 Fiesta that the, the AT Motorsport guys have given me for the next few weeks. And we're going to go and check up on the D100 because it's getting painted. But before all this happens today, I need to show you guys the new stuff that's come to FYDApparel.com. We have these new Speed Shop hats, these new Old English t shirt But we're going to start the day by getting in the Fiesta. I absolutely love this little thing. Shout out AT Motorsport for producing an awesome little rocket ship. But onwards to the D100 and see what's going on. Stop the car! Let's go. So guys, today's video is sponsored by Car Whiff. Car Whiff is your not traditional air freshener. These actually last up to six to eight weeks. Car Whiff is aftershave and perfume scented. I have been sent through this Creed scent. Always looking for better car fresheners for my cars because I use them all the time. There's just something so nice about having a nice smelling car. So these are incredibly simple. You get them in this packet, take them out. Again, not like a traditional air freshener. You actually take the top off, remove the plastic cap on top, and and I wish you guys could smell this. Put the top back on just like that. Give it a shake and then take it over straight in your car. One of the major highlights about these is the fact that they can stay smelling this good for six to eight weeks, have a drawstring material. It doesn't matter what size your rear view mirror is. So guys, head over to Car With. These are less than a tenner to keep your car smelling nice. I've actually got you guys a bit of a discount on these, 12% off. Just use the code Jamie. Links are in the description. Massive thank you again to the guys at Car With. But now let's get back to the video. Right, we've made it to TW body repairs. The man himself. Nice hair, mate. You know, you're taking your little mask off. He's pretty good lad. Now, the truck. Let's let's talk people through what's going on because I didn't actually tell anyone this was gonna happen. So it's quite hard to point out the parts that have been done. If you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you'll know already. But the first thing to go through was that there was a number plate here. I didn't want to actually get rid of the holes because it's a little bit of patina in the old holes and stuff. As you can see, we've actually painted this part of the truck. Yes, it's not exactly the same as everything else. A little sand back and a little yeah, bit of scotching. But the thing is, we wanted it to dry like this so you get the paint stroke in the brush. Because the rest of the truck, as you can see, because this is fake patina, has the brush strokes. Yeah. And this is exactly the same sort of scenario at the back where it was green, and then we did the red oxide underneath, and then as you can see, brush strokes over the top, leave it to dry, and then once it's dulled down a bit, I think, or at least yeah, cured, then you'll be able to come back and get this sort of desired effect just this side. Also down here, there was a sticker that the previous guy had painted around. <laughs> it was a sticker here. You guys would have seen the previous videos and stuff. There was actually a sticker here and it was painted over. So it was when I pulled it off, it was green underneath. <laughs> so that needed to be done 100%. We'll come round, because I'll show you the bed of the truck in a minute. This part as well, because the ammunitions box that was actually originally here, I didn't like it. I like, I like, I like this part of a pickup truck. So I wanted to get rid of that as we spoke about. And you said, do this bit all down the sides and stuff, and we'll do this top rail. But what do you want to do with the bed? And I was like, well, to be honest, I want to make it look a little bit nicer than it is. I don't want it rusty. Yeah. And you were like, well, Raptor liner. Just an unbelievable one. Job from you, for a start. This was completely rusted out. I'll put a picture of, you know, an overlay. It looked like prior to this. But you, di I didn't, it's hard to explain. I didn't want it to be brand new. No. So what we, what we were saying was it needs to look used, but protected. Yeah. And that's one of the hardest things as a painter, I suppose, to actually... Yeah, it's not Explain not normally what I set out <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah, like if, if you're a painter or you painted anything before, you're going for perfection. Yeah. You're not going for uh, a, a, a look, yeah. So to come to you and I was like, so do you reckon we could fake patina with the rest of the truck? And you were like, yeah, I mean, like we, we could do that, but usually I'm like going for perfection because yeah. I'm doing like a multi-stage yeah. pearl or something on a car. So shout out you for having the knowledge one, one for one thing. But the work that's been carried out, obviously this bit, I'm so happy with you've come over and the brush strokes have actually gone with the rest of the truck but as you can see all that needs really is going over and yeah there you go you can see that instantly right in front of us like a blue peter episode that was yeah, like, this is what i'm at earlier this is the sort of desired effect we're after to go with the rest of the truck so it actually blends in this was a green truck prior to this 
and getting that desired effect going along here. Well happy mate. You have no idea how happy I am about this. The thing is, the bed can be used properly now because I've hauled a couple of things in this. Yeah, because, you know, there's been a sofa and that in there. Yes, it's cool putting stuff in this, but you still want it to be protected. Well, the, at least the metal protected. And you want to protect it against rust because, although it's a patina truck, it's hard to explain if you're not into old crap trucks like we are. You're well into them as well. Like, you want it to look crap, but you don't want it to actually be crap. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, know what I mean? you, want, you want it to just age and then stop. Yeah. And that's exactly the desired effect we've gone for. So inside, all that's been done is, you know, flat back and, you know, prepared yeah. Yeah. enough. Down, down, up, and then but as you can it. see, it's been completely raptured. So everything is protected. It doesn't, scratch. it doesn't scratch. You can throw anything you want in here so it becomes a working truck. I'm just like, I know it's hard to explain, but I want it to look crap. <laughs> I know it's really hard to say that, but like it is the desired effect where there's still like marks and there's still um, bits of, you know, underneath the metal showing through the, you don't want this brand new. And it's hard if you're not into it to explain that because people want, you know, brand new stuff on their cars and that. I wanted this to be age related. You can't have brand new stuff on this. No, no. Mate. The effect, we got it. 100%. Got, got, got the effect we were after. All of the parts that I wanted done. Would you say it was quite easy? Yeah, it's, funny enough, yes, it is quite easy. It's not something that you'll... Set out you're gonna do, yeah, you're not, you don't want to uh, paint something badly and then sand it back because that's not really the desired effect well, anybody wants. Nice to do yeah, that's what we were talking about. This is so different, and to color match the truck, but the like funny thing nice. is, right, are you prepared for this, everyone? The color of the truck, blue Volvo. So the Volvo engine coming to light a bit more understanding yeah. that where the paint came from as well. White went from green to blue. A bit more understanding when we actually took a paint Scan sample, paint. like it was really hard to do, so yeah. we went with this bit here. And I think the only thing you came out with was the Volvo Volvo paint. was the only one carried. And when it came through, we brushed a bit on the truck just to sit. Well, I think it was this yeah, part yeah, right yeah. here, yeah. right there. You can actually see that it was identical colour to the rest of the truck. So, Volvo paint. Another little. Another little. See, look, this is the thing, right? You can make this thing age as you wish, do you know what I mean? And I know some people will be like, oh, I can't believe you're doing that, but this is the idea, this is the desired effect. We're into the American stuff, and you know, the patinaed side of things, like this truck is, that's how you get that desired effect. And back in the 30s, 40s, anything like that, this is how they did it. They brush stroked it all on with multi layers and then layered it back with sandpaper and stuff to get the desired effect that they were after. And that's exactly what we've been able to create here through a professional body shop. We'll actually show you again in front of everybody. Look at this, half and half, right? So this is the paint, that you can see it, clear as day in the camera. That versus that, which is, if you go over the actual truck, that's the desired effect you were after, what yeah. I was after, well, yeah. and we were after as a, as a collective. So it's cleaning it up. And it's just but keeping, the keeping, keeping the brush strokes, keeping the idea that it's a little bit flattened back yeah. and, oh. Like this bit, we've just done this bit as you guys just saw. And I love this because no one else on YouTube, can I just point out, no one else on YouTube is sanding their cars back <laughs> to get a crappy desired effect on it. I love that. No, no one wants nice perfect paint. You want rusty old stuff like this. That's what it's all about. That's getting... not what I do. No, it's not what, no, it's not what he does. I'll point that out. But as you can see, the front has been, you know, weathered. So the rest of it needs to be weathered with the truck. I mean, it works so well. Love old. So much fun, isn't it? Look at that. You, literally stand here it's all properly color match and i came to you asking for a color match and you got it there's the color match because the color match isn't necessarily it's not just perfect anyway it's, the rest it's not spraying something in and bolting it on it's no. actually multi layers going over a matching single paint yeah matching a brush stroke and then sanding it back so it looks as if it was supposed to be there lad what a legend oh i love it we don't do many how to's on this youtube channel but this is sort of how to patina your car in a weird way because no one's really covered that. How would you actually go around doing that? And this is how. You scotch it back after brush stroking all over the truck. That's exactly how it's done. Old school methods is what that is. It's an old school method simple. of getting a simple effect that as you can see, we've just gone over this part again. Wouldn't even know in person and on the camera, you wouldn't even know. It is character. It's all about the character. Back to the ST. I think, oh, as I lose the ball in the wind, 
I think it's hard as a creator to explain to some people what this truck is, what it means, and what the real direction of it is. And I think YouTube sometimes is completely oversaturated with people completely respraying their cars, brand new, changing the colors and stuff, wrapping it. I think it's hard to bring something a little bit different that people may not understand. And if you don't understand, appreciate that people may not be into old rusty trucks. But it's one of those things, like I'm well into like the aged look and the coolness of a truck that's a little bit different. I want something that's got a bit of age related marks. Yes, it's forced, don't get me wrong, but it's made to look forced with all the rest of the truck. I did have someone saying, when are you gonna respray? Get that lovely paint colors and stuff are lovely, but that's not the way I would take my personal cars. Look at this. <laughs> he gets all the cool jobs. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Thought to come around to finish the video with both of the truck and the AT Motorsport Fiesta. Fantastic daily, but my ultimate dream pickup truck project weird thing. Please go follow Terry. He is an absolute legend for letting me uh, just ask him silly questions like, can you sand down my pickup truck and make it look basically please go and follow him on instagram but if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up check out fydapparel.com as usual guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the next one